Hey guys, let's get more news about Lakers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. D'Angelo Russell calls out referees after Lakers shockingly lose Game 2 against Nuggets. The Los Angeles Lakers shockingly blew a 20-point lead to lose Game 2 of their first-round series against the Denver Nuggets. While Jamal Murray's incredible game winner at the buzzer for the Nuggets dominated the headlines, another big talking point was the officiating. The Lakers were unhappy with the referees and D'Angelo Russell was one of the players to call them out after the game. I like where we were at, like the chance we gave ourselves, Russell said. Few questionable calls that really dictated a lot of movements forward. So, it is what it is, we all saw it. The Lakers felt aggrieved about some decisions, with their biggest complaint being about a foul on Russell by Michael Porter Jr. late in the third quarter, which was overturned on review. You can see the clip below, where Porter Jr. hits the 28-year-old. At the time, it was thought that Nuggets head coach Michael Malone had just wasted a challenge, but crew chief Scott Foster announced soon after that it was successful. The officials felt the contact was marginal and the Lakers were not happy. The fact that the final score was 101-99 to only made matters worse, as the Lakers felt they clearly should have gotten two free throws there. Russell, who had one of his best playoff games here with 23 points, three rebounds, and six assists, even took to X afterward to make it clear that it was a foul. That's a foul we all saw it on national television. The Lakers reportedly also felt that if that was marginal contact on Russell, then LeBron James should not have been called for a foul on Murray late in the game, as per ESPN. A Lakers source told ESPN that James' foul on Murray with 57.1 seconds left, which rewarded the Nuggets guard two free throws that tied the game 97-97, also could be considered marginal contact. This was the incident that the Lakers were referring to. As that X account pointed out, Lakers head coach Darvin Ham didn't challenge that call. Ham even had two timeouts left, so this wasn't a case of the Lakers being at risk of having none if the challenge was unsuccessful. If they felt it was marginal, they should have challenged it and I do think the call would have been overturned. While Russell was clearly frustrated there, he wasn't as angry after that game as LeBron was. James slammed the referees for overturning that foul on Russell. I don't understand what's going on in the replay center, to be honest. What f do we have a replay center for? It makes no sense to me. What are we doing? While I get that some calls went against the Lakers here, I don't like this reaction after the game. LA led by 20 points at one stage in the third quarter and they didn't blow that advantage because of the referees. This wasn't a case where just a string of decisions went in the Nuggets' favor, which led to that lead disappearing. A couple of them did, but even with that, the Lakers should have won. They only have themselves to blame for being down 0-2 in this series. LeBron James appears to pop his dislocated finger back into place during Nuggets game. LeBron James once again demonstrated his resilience and toughness during the Lakers' matchup against the Denver Nuggets, as he appeared to pop back what seemed to be a dislocated finger early in the first quarter. After initially clutching his hand in pain, LeBron quickly took matters into his own hands, literally, as he appeared to reset the injured finger and continued playing without missing a beat. Despite being in his 21st NBA season and at the age of 39, LeBron's ability to endure and push through discomfort highlights his remarkable physical and mental strength. Whether it was a dislocation or a jammed finger, LeBron's instinctive response to address the injury on the spot reflects his commitment to staying in the game and leading his team by example. However, despite LeBron's valiant effort, the Lakers ultimately fell short against the Nuggets, losing 101-99, further fueling LeBron's frustration with the officiating. His passionate outburst directed at the referees after the game underscored his disappointment over critical non-calls that significantly impacted the outcome of the game. In particular, LeBron's anger stemmed from a missed foul call during a crucial moment in the game when he was driving aggressively to the basket with the score tied at 95-95.
Despite apparent contact from the defense, no foul was called, leaving LeBron and the Lakers feeling aggrieved as they missed out on a potential game-winning opportunity. As the Lakers head back to Los Angeles trailing 0-2 in the series, LeBron's determination to rally his team and overcome adversity remains unwavering. With his leadership and resilience, LeBron will continue to inspire his teammates as they look to turn the tide in their favor and mount a comeback in the series. LeBron James finds himself in familiar territory yet again, facing a daunting 2-0 deficit against the Denver Nuggets, a team that has emerged as his nemesis over the past two seasons. The Nuggets, led by Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray, have now bested the Lakers in 10 consecutive matchups, dating back to the previous regular season. Can LeBron summon his legendary prowess to orchestrate a historic comeback and defy the odds once more? As the Lakers' undisputed leader in his 21st NBA campaign, LeBron shoulders the weight of expectations as he aims to rally his team from behind. Throughout the season, he has showcased his enduring brilliance, averaging 25.7 points, 7.3 rebounds, and 8.3 assists per game while maintaining impressive shooting efficiency from both inside and beyond the arc. However, to engineer a comeback against the Nuggets, LeBron must elevate his game to unprecedented levels and inspire his teammates to follow suit. History suggests that LeBron thrives under pressure, but overcoming a 2-0 deficit in the playoffs is a rare feat even for the four-time NBA champion. With just eight instances of trailing 2-0 in his illustrious postseason career, LeBron holds a modest 3-5 record in such situations. Yet, his resilience and unwavering determination have propelled him to overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges in the past. As the Lakers return home for Games 3 and 4, LeBron will look to leverage the support of the home crowd and harness the collective energy of his teammates to turn the tide in their favor. With his unmatched combination of skill, experience, and leadership, LeBron remains the Lakers' best hope for staging a remarkable comeback against the Nuggets. However, it will require nothing short of a Herculean effort from the king and his court to rewrite the script and snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Charles Barkley slams Lakers for blaming refs after Game 2 loss. The Lakers resorted to the low-hanging fruit of blaming the referees for their heartbreaking loss to the Nuggets on Monday. After the game, D'Angelo Russell, Darvin Ham and LeBron James voiced their displeasure over several officiating calls, with Russell even tweeting about it. Russell was referring to a play in the third quarter when he got struck in the face by Michael Porter Jr. The Lakers used their official challenge to try and reverse the call but to no avail. Even James lashed out at the league for not overturning the call. D'Lo clearly gets hit in the face on a drive. What the F do we have a replay center? for, if it's going to go, like that. It doesn't make sense to me, James fumed. The excessive complaining from the Lakers did not sit well with Charles Barkley. The officials had nothing to do with that game, Barkley said on Inside the NBA on TNT. Obviously, when you give up a 20-point lead, you have to make some mistakes, but the Lakers made every play down the stretch, and so did the Nuggets. This had nothing to do with the officiating. Give the Nuggets credit, man. Them boys balled out. As Barkley pointed out, the Lakers blew a 20-point advantage, their second-largest blown lead in a playoff game since 1997. The Lakers have now lost 10 consecutive games to the Nuggets dating back to last year's Western Conference Finals. They will get a chance to end the streak in Game 3, which tips off at 7 p.m. Eastern Time at the Crypto.com Arena on Thursday. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Charles Barkley? Leave your opinion in the comments.